What's good everyone? So I have watched Land of Women. This is an Apple TV Plus comedy drama TV series. Yes, that is a mouthful. This series is based on author Sandra Benedict's best-selling novel. Now, I've not seen much buzz about this series. Apple TV Plus, I keep saying to everyone, is on a roll right now, especially with their recent releases. This series stars Eva Longoria and Carmen Mora. So I was surprised that this show hasn't, you know, hasn't received a bigger campaign prior to its release. But anyway, enough of the long talk. I've watched all six episodes. Does this series add another hit to the Apple TV Plus roster? Let's get into my review. So this series follows Gala who is forced to flee with her mother and daughter to Spain after her husband disappears in the wake of his financial dealings unraveling. So after watching all six episodes, the series for me, it doesn't hit the, the heights of recent Apple TV Plus series such as Presumed Innocent or Dark Matter, but I had fun with the show and there's a certain charm to the series that made the show an enjoyable watch. Let's start with the story and I'll say with episode one, <laughs> I thought I was in for a rough, rough ride. It definitely felt lacking in the quality that I'm used to from Apple TV+. Plus. But as the episodes developed and I started to understand the direction the series was venturing into, I started to enjoy it more. The narrative is extremely predictable. It's cliche. But with that said, because of the way the show executes with such a charm, I didn't mind that. I also liked that the story incorporates a lot more than I expected, giving the show a little more substance. Whilst the narrative is told from the viewpoint of Gala, I like that the show incorporates world experiences from three generations of women. This element to the show adds a dynamic element, which makes watching the show for me more engaging. Both her mum and daughter have their own spin-off narratives, which add an emotional connection to the series. And the way everything was blended together I felt they did a good job. And amongst all of this, the show incorporates humor to keep the light-hearted watch going, even during what is supposed to be a tense situation. Now, the humor in the series might not be for everyone. I didn't laugh at every joke. However, there were some that did make me laugh a little bit. I also enjoyed that the story is told with a mixture of English, Spanish, and Catalan. Catalan is something that I don't think I've come across before in a film or a TV show, and I appreciated this being highlighted in the series. But with all of that said, guys, there is one thing that I forgot, and it's a major thing. <laughs> and it is that these three women were being chased in the series by hitmen. And for me, I would say that high stakes feeling, the criminal drama element to the show is lackluster. The writing to it is just, it's, it's really poor. When the hitmen appear on screen, the writing, it wasn't dramatic enough. and I just didn't care for this element of the show. It certainly gets lost and it's not until the end of the show I was like, oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> These three women were being chased by killers. Next, we have the characters and I felt everyone acted fine. Everyone acted well. There were one or two standout performances for me, but the writing for some of the characters wasn't great. Let's start with the standout performance and for me, that came from Carmen Mora, who plays Gayla's mom. Carmen Mora is someone that I've seen before in some films, but I'm not too familiar with her. But if you do your research online, guys, you will see she is a legend. You can certainly feel that in the show. Great performance from Carmen. I liked Eva Longoria in the series. I did feel a Desperate Housewives-esque feel to her character. And I thought that worked well in the show. The disappointing characters for me were the villains, the hitmen. One is played by Jim Kitson and the other is played by my guy, Amari Nolasco, aka Sucre from Prison Break. They didn't feel like hitmen at all in this show. In fact, when they appear on screen, I found them annoying. And lastly, I have the cinematography and CGI and all in all guys, the show looked fine, especially with a backdrop of the vineyards in Barcelona. I didn't have any major issues with the show. Overall guys, this is a fun and enjoyable show. Now, would I personally recommend this as a must watch show that you have to watch this on day one? No. However, if you're someone who is looking for, you know, a, a warm and easy weekend watch, a comforting, easy watch, you don't want to use too much brain power, then this is the show for you. So with that said, I give Land of Women a Lowry three out of five stars. Thank you very much for watching this review. If you watch the series, 
Let me know down below in the comments your thoughts on it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more movie, TV news and reviews. I also have my new live stream show streaming once a week where I go through all of the entertainment news of the week. That's it for this video and until my next one guys, peace.